Hello and welcome, my name is Nilaus. This is another brand new series of Factorio. We're playing completely vanilla and I'm calling this ser series Final Factorio because this will most likely, I don't know, but it could be my last Factorio uh, vanilla series. So this is going to be entirely on YouTube. It's going to be a, going to turn into a mega base. I will be hoping towards hitting towards uh, 200 episodes, but let's see how that pans out as it is now. First, We'll uh, go through the map settings so we can get into the game and then I'll explain why I think you should keep up with the series because I think it will be very exciting combining something for the new player and something for the more experienced player. Here we have the resource settings. I have a map seed that I've uh, prepared. We have big and good because I find it a bit tedious to keep building more train lines. The difference between uh, normal and big is simply the length of train to get to more locations, not anything else, and how often you have to rebuild a location. Terrain settings, big starting area and low amount of trees, normal enemies, but no cliffs. I don't like the cliff mechanics. It doesn't seem uh, good to me. It, it had a novel, uh, novel feel to it about for 10 minutes. Enemy expansions, I don't like clearing the same battle spaces again and again. So will we claim a territory? This is ours. Without further ado, let's enter, enter the game and take a look at the map. Here we are. This is the starting area, big area, 4.7, 4.1. Unfortunately, since this is vanilla and now resource spawner overhaul, we have these annoying shapes. That's just the way it is. Let's uh, get started on some of the normal plays while I explain the series. So you can see in the top left-hand corner, you can see a name. This is because this series is a bit of a tribute to all the kind sponsors of my channel and therefore i will be every sponsor on page on youtube or every sponsor on uh, or patreon as well let's just see this should be enough to get us going <clears throat> i will be adding one more uh, one more episode so that means as it is currently it's about somewhere uh, 120 to 150 actual uh, episodes in this series and that's pretty much uh, going to be a very long series i've also set the goal for this series oh i've got some some stone well we'll just cut it from up here oh look at that there are two iron laws how annoying that is um i've set the target that i want this base to be what is it it's 100 oh, 10 signs per minute for each episode so, of course, in the beginning, we will not get as much, but over time, we'll um, yeah, hopefully when we get to the mega base level, they will it will hopefully make a bit more sense. Oh, that's not a lot we got there. There we go. <clears throat> chop, 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 chop. Got a lot of chopping. That's a lot of chopping we do in the beginning here, unfortunately. And then we go up here and chop some more so we can get some more stone bricks. To, uh, to build some more furnaces. I always build more furnaces than I guess most people will do. Uh, this is simply because I I think this is a I, I think it's a more efficient way of starting to get something up and keeps me keeps me occupied all the time. But we'll that one and that one then we can get more. Uh, hold on, let's get one more. And at this point, I think we are. You know what? Actually, I want the coal first because that chopping thing is kind of getting a bit tedious. There we go. Okay, now, oops. Okay, so that means every episode will be sponsored by one of the sponsors on the channel. You can see here, Vitoli, fanatical devotee on Patreon. And that will be sort of the, the way that we define. We can also see the number of the episode. Let's see. Let's get two of those. Oh, I haven't even gotten a single tree yet. Ugh. Need to get some of those trees. They're down here. Also have to be aware that I'm almost running out. Let's get a few boxes. <clears throat> Got it. Okay, uh, let's, that is going to be the primary concern here on that one. Okay, so what I need to do now is build 
some more stone bricks so I can get stone bricks automated because I'm still just chopping away. We want to get rid of this. The target for the first episode will be just the construction of the first science facility. And there. Actually... And I don't have any... How how did that happen? Never seen that before, actually. That's a bit strange. Well, that was kind of impractical that it did... Ah, lost my chopper. There. Good. So now we're getting some more stuff. I'll be chopping away anyway, because it's... It's gonna take a while. Can I just make one more? Yes, I can. It's the easiest. Get that one. How many do? What is that? That's ten. Great. Stone. Okay, now we're starting to actually get some traction here. See? You're going there. You're going here. And more here. Stone bricks, how many? 18, come on, 19, 20. Four of those. One, two. So these will go into, let's say, here. One, two. There. And, okay, now we're kind of struggling on this part. And one, two, three, four. Now it's time to get this one up. I always do a lot of iron before I even get started on the, on the copper. I only do the copper when I need it. Oops, that's it. One, two. When I need the copper for the first facility or the first mining. There you go. Get that one. Let's hope it works. Yes, it should not run out. And I guess what can we do? We can make two more of these and up here. We have 15. Great. All the time, just keep keep pushing. Now I'm up to seven. I think that's a pretty good number. Yep. And I can run down the middle here. Okay. Look, we are getting something over here and I can make one two three and not enough one two need more four five there now that's three of those and three of those and then I need a lot come on give me more because now we need to head over to our copper facility and by the time we get over there I want to make sure that I can actually with enough fuel in so it doesn't run out immediately because it's kind of a long trick over there. So far we are progressing quite well. The focus of the base, we'll get more into that in episode two about how this one will be sort of unique in, uh, I hope, some ways. The start, the early game will always be pretty much the same. Can I just get a few on my way back? Just just enough to get this one. Yep, that's the first one we need. Just the offshore pump so we can start pumping some water, which we can then put into our... Oh, I'm going to have to get this one out anyway at some point. Might as well chop it down now. Good. One, two, three, four. Always craft them when you can. And now the ma what I need is a lot of coal. Uh, no, sorry. A lot of iron, so I might want one more, but I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll make do with just seven. I usually want. I usually want a bit more than seven, maybe eight. I can do that. One, two. And then here, here.
Ah, we are one, two, three, four. I'm gonna get more of these as well. That one, yeah, it's still going just, just a bit longer. And I know this is quite a big area and will generate a ton of pollution, but I want the starting game to be smooth. That's why we're doing this way. It's too far away. I have to get used to the, lo the long reach, the short reach. Let's see. One, two, three, four. And then I can't even build seven of those, but soon. See, this is why you need a lot of, of iron, because for the fuel, the power here, you need quite a lot. Now, <clears throat> I need to think a bit on how I want to run this because these are here. I think I, oh, hold on. Something I've forgotten. Very important. I'm going to flip you just for the hell of it. And unfortunately, I can't make this. You know what? You go away. You go away as well. I want these first. Boom. Eight. Fine. Ah, okay. Maybe it doesn't. The reason I want the stone breaks is just as an indicator at this point for doing city blocks. We are not doing city blocks in this episode. That's also very important to say uh, because that's something we have done before. So let's do something else. See, this is the part. Let's have a look. I want to go above these and then make a path that goes above here. So let's just remember this path. And in order to build more, we'll get built. I don't have enough iron. So, probably also a good time to go over and refuel. So now I'm just only I'm only patching the stuff that's needed. And I could be doing it better, but whatever. Okay, so let's go over here to the copper. I don't really need more copper at this point. I don't need a lot. I just need to make sure that when I get over there, I can actually actually stock up on some amount yes we do have a decent amount here good let's make sure that it is stacked and uh, this is stacked as well so we now have quite a bit that should enable us to build just the first first things we need let's see we now have enough for the power we can make some bricks uh, or some what do you call it? electric poles unfortunately that's not enough you can see here we are actually not able to keep up entirely with our fuel consumption at this point. Okay, so what we need at this point, I'll take this just for the hell of it, and need some more bricks. Oh, sorry. Please. And one, one, two, three. I get a few. And then we can go up and get sorted in terms of the power that's going to be like the big milestone getting power up and then we can start working on the next part see luckily we don't need particularly a lot of uh wood for for the initial part so that's going to be easy yeah let's get a lot of this but not all of it because i'm actually using copper for it and i don't want to use the copper okay let's also get some of this because if we're building power we also want to make sure that we get enough as it is good that one is our delimiter this one goes here because because reasons like this maybe yeah whatever This is the classical way of building power. Very, very simple. It's hard to imagine anything that would be built any different, at least for me. You can build it closer, but then you get all into all sorts of weird things with the power pole. So this one is actually how I prefer to do it. And then I'm going to take one, two, three, four. Oh, come on. Of course, they can't be powered because there's no power in it. But boom, we got the power. And this is where we then built some. Yeah. Let's make sure that there's a bit of power. I don't need very much power here. There. So they are insulated a bit. 
Let's go get some of this and then we can drag the power to somewhere more reasonable or back to the base where we need it. It's always something I always do is plan my path in advance. That's the first thing I do because once you start building, you can't really move it around. And the coal we have below us is actually exactly handy where we need to get it. And there, let's start building some things. One, two of these and some five of these, six maybe. Also, then after that, we built the first fuel. There you go. We have stone bricks. Not a lot, but some. Let's go over to the power. You can see how things are actually fitting together, I'd say, quite nicely. We can go over and uh, let's actually claim this before they run full. What are we at? We're 41, so it's not. They each can contain 100 each. And it's going to take a while for building all of this, but that's fine. We have the time to build it, and then we can go up and put our first production into place, or our first science into place. Once that's done, we'll get automation, and then from there on, it's just going to be scaling, scaling, scaling. I'll be talking, as I said, more about in the next episode what the theme will be, but I can at this point uh, highlight that it will not be city blocks. And the main boss is kind of a necessary evil because the science for robots is hidden so far, or at least the logistics robots are hidden so deep in the tech tree. You can see here, logistics, oops, logistics system, boom. That's the only place where we get requested chests. And that is hidden behind a lot of other tech. So that's a pretty deep there, at least tech wise. No, but I still need 150 of each of those. And that is pretty uh, difficult tech. Okay, get that one. We might as well just craft these while we can. And here we'll take our one, two, oh, that doesn't. There. Go and we'll get the first science. This is the automation. This is always the one you want to take first. I don't couldn't really figure out a reason why you would take anything except that as the first thing. So at this point, we need to start building I, a lot of these uh, internals because we're going to need it for when we get the first automation up running. We get a lot of iron, and then we get the first bits and pieces in here. There's eight, that's fine. And this is the last three. Boom. I could be building more, but I don't really want to. So when this one completes, I should be completed with this science as well. And then we can start working on next. So we actually, at this point, just to uh, highlight where we are, uh, tech-wise, we have, we have this electricity and we have science. Those are pretty good uh, milestones, actually, and it's still in the first episode. So we'll be continuing to building somewhat efficiently, <laughs> I hope. This gives us underground belts and splitters, something that's absolutely essential. We'll be making a lot of these. Um, I'll take some of these out because I already have 14. That's not all that much. Uh, the copper plates, yeah, that's fine as it is. Right, now we need the machines, the assembling machines. That one goes here. That one goes here. Boom. This will be making red science and the other one, come on. And let's see how this goes. Whoa, I don't have any. Ah, that was strange. No more boxes left. I did not see that coming, but whatever. Here we go. I'll put that in there. I'll put that in there and I'll need two of these. So we now have science automated. I'm sorry that it's so dark, but this is a uh, modless. The only mod we have is this one illustrating who sponsored this particular episode. And let's see, logistics is now working. All we need is that one here. One, two, one, no, one. That's all I can, get. oh, and I also need one here because this will then be a way for me to pick up some gears. I'll continue building some of these small ones 
that we need. I'll need the next one. I think I can do it like, uh, do it like this. Yeah, just like do it like this. This is gears and this is <clears throat> belts. And we just need iron. One more thing we need to build here. Here, gonna be exactly the same pattern. These are the first things I always build and it works quite well. Really, we ran out. Running out of wood already. That's a bit of an issue. And that one and that one. Unfortunately, that's not gonna cut it, but let's go down and get some more stuff. Let's start here. Now, at this point, we are getting ahead in terms of the power, so I should be able to... Uh, okay, not quite, but I can at least give ha uh, all of them half. That's a good start. And we go to the copper, which is going to start being a bit strained as it is now. Maybe I should just, for the hell of it, make a few more. There you are. Hmm. These must be fully loaded. Yep. And pick up this part. Okay, you're getting your stuff. Cool. Okay, so what is the next part we want to build? Now we have power, science. We have all the things we need to start building our teeny tiny little base. We the logistics is working. Why is that? Oh, that's not working anymore. Because this one is empty. So we have to take this one out. And this one out. Flip you. Good. Getting up to our crafting locations. Of course, this didn't work because one, two, and one. I guess that's kind of enough, isn't it? There. I think that's going to cut it. There. And this one just keep going. You need all the iron you can get. Let's get some gears. Now, it's much easier for me to start crafting things. I got a bit of stones, of belts. The first things I'm going to make is making sure that our power is stable. I just need four of these. That should be easy to get. Uh, do I have the first one? Yes, I do. I can. I think I'll do it here because then. <clears throat> Let's do that. Come on. Bleep, 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 bleep. That's a lot of stupid beeping. Now that is going to be a problem. How the hell are you going to be connected to the rest of the world? Can you can you get all the way up here? Nope. That one? No? Damn. So... Alright, you just do it this way. Good. Got it. And we got the first science. I'm going to continue. Uh, the options are either military but i don't think i need it i got a pretty big starting area start working towards the automation too or getting some lights we'll build the lights not particularly efficient but it's good to have some lights here you're gonna go this way whoops that was not an underground belt that was an underground pipe doesn't work quite the same way jumping under our illusory wall here This is going to be just fine. What I'll do, and I always do this, I do this one. This is a very simple way of making sure that we build a slight little buffer here. So that whatever, um, I just get a bit of buffer. Yeah. How much is this one doing? This is doing fine. It's exactly equal. This one's doing fine. I still have a lot of depth here. This is good. See, now we're getting started. Things are working. We, it's time for us to build the next part of the base. The next part of the base is what I call my jumpstart base. It's something if you've been following my series for a while, it's or my yeah series yeah let's call that. Let's play for a while. You will have seen this uh, jumpstart base. It is uh, kind of becoming a bit ubiquitous. So I did not see it back when I designed it. I've done a bit of an update, uh, but I think it'll it'll work fine. <clears throat> So now we have a lot of things uh, that we can do. We can start making engines here. We can need this because at this point we are going to build something. I will also get up here. We can take this. Just so we get some kind of idea about it. And I will also do this one just to make sure that we have some clean cut areas. That's the optics. 
what is the next part? The next part is working our way towards the automation tool. It's going to be a long trek, but I think that's worth it. Maybe we should get the military first because that's so damn cheap. Do we have any power ports? Yes, we do. Let's start getting them back closer to our area here. Typical. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> and is that actually correct? Yes, this is correct. This is how we bridge with the small one, bridge an intersection like this. Best way to do it. And that means it gives us plenty of space to build in the next episode. So let's recap for the very first episode. I hope you're enjoying it. And I hope that if you're maybe not enjoying it, but you made it all the way this far, that you'll give the next uh, episode a chance. We're going to be slowly building the base up, or actually as efficiently as we can. I will not have anything off camera in this episode, in this uh, show. That's one of the tricks to it. So everything I do will be on camera. That means to put some bit more strain on me to not just go out and chop down forest for... Uh, an episode or two because mm. i don't think you'll want to watch this but i'm sure you will be back in the next episode what we did was the starter base uh, we got science running we got uh, belts and green circuits and we got power so that's uh, ready for the next stage of the base thank you very much for joining and i hope that you'll be coming back to the next episode since this is the first episode i'm gonna ask you to like and share this one because that means a hell of a difference for the first episode so please share it i really appreciate it and i hope to see you in the next episode thank you very much